Hello students, we will be studying web spam. Spamming. First of all, we should understand what do you mean by spamming. Any deliberate action to boost a web page position in a search engine, that is, if the page which does not fit into search engine's first position and we are trying to get at a first position by using some techniques we call as a spamming. What is spam then? Web pages that are result of spamming we call as a spam page. This is very broad definition we can say but as SEO industry might disagree because the SEO industry says that creating page rank or ranking is higher is a technically correct. Approximately 10 to 15% of web pages are spam. Web search. Early search engines have the crawl, crawling the web pages or the spiders were used, crawlers appear used, some bots were used to crawl the pages. We used to index pages by words by the content. We used to respond those queries which are requested by the user based on the words which are indexed. So early page ranking was attempts to order the pages matching in search query by the importance of that page. So first search engine considered number of times query words appeared in that particular page. Prominence word of position like a title, header, part of the HTML files. How false spammers used to work? As people began to use search engine to find things on the web, those with a commercial interest tried to exploit search engine to bring people to their own sites, on their own pages, whether they wanted to be there or not. Example, shirt seller might pretend to be about movies page. Website of shirt seller will be pretending to be movies page. Techniques for achieving high relevance importance for a web page, so which creates the importance. So they used to call it a term spam and how they used to do it? They add the word movie 1000 times to your page and say the text color to the background color. As the background color and the text color is the same, so only search engines would see it. And if the any word which is 1000 times on a particular page, so we should understand this page is about that one. So movie, that website of shirt will pretend to be movie website of movies or the another technique was or the, run the query movie on your target search engine see what which page is coming first copy the content of that page make it that content invisible by making as a set text color to the background color so this is will work so these are similar techniques are the known as a term spam which was exploited in a first spammer generation one so Google found some solution to this term spam. Use the words in an anchor text. Any important pages were there, we used to have a hyperlinks. So what we're going to do is we will consider the content from the anchor tag and the text surrounding that anchor tag, which will automatically give the importance and Google try to solve this problem in a first generation. Why it works? Our hypothetical shirt seller loses it. Why it loses it? Saying he's about movies doesn't help because other don't say he's about movies. Means his website is talking about movies and movies. But other websites are saying it's a website of shirt selling. So definitely the shirt seller loses it. His page isn't very important. So it won't be ranked high for shirts as well as movies because he cannot be the IMDB website. Why it doesn't work? Because of course that website is not about the that topic which is spammer is trying to pretend. Next is spam farming. We understand what is spam farming and from the same analogy the spam farming is kept to the pitch understanding. So Google versus spammers round two or you can say generation two how they used to work. 
what they used to do is once the google become a dominant search engine spammer began to work out ways to fool the google spam farms were developed to concentrate page rank on a single page we understand how the spam uh, page ranking is work so usually it works around the linkings so it creates that kind of spamming link spam creating a link structure that boosts the page rank of particular page so automatically it creates some page and it creates some index for that so that website is talking about that uh, spam website so definitely automatically it's the uh, website's page rank score is going to be increased link spamming there are three kinds of pages from the spammers point of view inaccessible pages accessible pages and own pages so inaccessible pages like suppose the website like a news they don't allow you to post anything there not allow you to write any comment there accessible pages like a blog comments pages spammers can post links to these pages for example facebook comments facebook posts some youtube comments and uh, instagram comments you can post anywhere so those are known as accessible pages but that is not owned by the user another type is own pages completely controlled by the spammer his own website he will create a duplicate websites and from that duplicate website so his own first primary website he is linking that so this will increase the page ranking score again he will create some spam pages and uh, wherever is possible face for example we can create facebook groups we can create facebook pages so from there it can redirect to the um, original websites this is the diagrammatic representations and whatever he is going to work on inaccessible pages is not going to work accessible pages where he is going to post the and target the green web page and from red pages which are owned by the um spammer so millions of farm pages can be done this way this is known as a farming of the spam one of the most common and effective organization for a link farm thank you